In this video, I'll show you how to circle crop a video or talking head video in Camtasia 2023 and add some dynamic border color to your video. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, I'm using Camtasia 2023 for this, so follow along. It's pretty simple. I'm going to begin by importing like a video here and just uh, have it on my timeline uh, just right about there. There we go. It's a video of me and so on and so forth. So what I'm going to begin by doing is I'm going to begin by uh, cropping or circle cropping this particular video. Now, there are two ways to do it. I can either go to visual effects and get the circle mask and put it on here. Uh, but for this, I think I'm going to use uh, just an annotation, a bold shape, and then just add it right there. I'll just scale it up a little bit, hold shift key and drag. And I can just bring this down a little bit so that I can actually fine tune. Yeah, that it looks good. Uh, there we go. Looks good. And then I can just apply the alpha mat right here. There we have it. So that is step one uh, in my own scenario. Uh, that is what I will do. Uh, and I can just bring this up. I want to copy this, Control C, Control V, to more or less kind of duplicate it there. And you can also do Control D to duplicate uh, whatever you've actually selected. Now, I'm going to merge these two. That's the first shape with the alpha track mat and my talking head video, Control G. And then remove uh, this particular alpha track mat right here. So I only have this shape and then uh, the video with the mask down there. So the next thing is to add a dynamic background. And I'll go to media and then go to uh, library. And then you can search your library for dynamic fields and just check out what is actually going to work for you. So let's say we go with something like this. And I'll just bring it here and drag it all the way to the end. Now, one thing you need to note is that this takes up more or less this whole space. So I'm just going to bring it down by holding one edge and kind of bring it to kind of match my video selection down here. And once I do that with my shape located here, I'm just going to do uh, the alpha again, and then it's going to be included there. Then I can just make a slight adjustment, hold shift, drag it slightly, and then I can just control G to merge those two, remove uh, the track mat here, and then I can just switch this video up and uh, bring uh, the uh, more or less the circle with the mask and the dynamic background uh, below here. So with that selected, I can now make different adjustments, hold shift, bring it up slightly. Actually, it's actually moving away. I can just now, mm, Control Z. You can actually just uh, disable this track a little bit, and then we can make some adjustments here to this particular uh, option here. I can actually do it from this edge, and then we can turn this on. So now we have something like that. You can just now reposition this with my uh, arrow keys and all that. So we've got something like that right about there, uh, and now. Uh, we can actually see how it looks like. And the good thing is you can always change the colors to dynamic background. And let's say you choose different colors uh, so that if let's actually open this group, uh, I actually want the audio to kind of bring it down and then close the group. And if you actually play this, you can see how the colors change around my talking head video. That's more or less the effect that you're going for in this particular video. Super simple and super easy to achieve. I hope this video is of value to you. Thank you so much for watching.